yards in a minute three. Aaron Elling to kick to Ahmad Merritt. Merritt from the eight. Behind the wedge. Nice return for Ahmad Merritt. Out to the 44-yard line. Ron Israel with the tackle. The Bears have a decimated offensive line. Center Olin Krutz is the only one left standing, and it's only week two of the season. Marty Booker, the Pro Bowl wide receiver, is Chicago's best hope for big plays. In the last two years, he's caught 197 passes. Cordell Stewart is only two years removed from the Pro Bowl. Last season, he lost his job with the Steelers. Last week, he struggled against the 49ers. Yeah. Thomas, nice hole. Nice move by Thomas, 40. 30, makes another man miss to the 20. Gain of 34 for the A-Train. Michael, one of the things, you know, in a game, when we talk to, to Chicago, it is imperative, and they say, we say it about a lot of teams, you have to run the football. This team, in order to stay in, it has to run. Look at this. Beaker, if he doesn't get downfield, it's a touchdown. That is great blocking at the line of scrimmage for a makeshift offensive line. Watch the move he puts on Corey Chavis, number 21. He gets through the hole, shifts the ball to protect it from the pursuit. Be surprised if Cordell struggles that we see Chris Chandler sometime tonight. Here's Paul Edinger, who always looks like he's ready to lead before he kicks. But that's normally the result, one of the most accurate kickers in football. And Edinger puts the Bears on the board. That's his first field goal of the ball game and that score set up by the A-train Anthony Thomas who gave them the big run they needed to get in scoring territory. That's for the Bears, second year and Alex Brown is being counted on for a pass rush. He had some big time numbers in college. Brian Urlacher is simply one of the best. Only the fourth Bear to make the Pro Bowl his first three years. The others are in the Hall of Fame. In the secondary, Mike Brown is a big play guy at safety and coming off a career high in tackles last season. Defenders. Smith is back in on first and goal. Call Pepper, pump fake, now in trouble, fumble! Still loose. How could you try to pick the ball up? Fall on the football. And the Bears have it. Dante Culpepper tried to get too cute. He tried to go for what, what, what Scott Lenahan, the offensive coordinator, calls a box score play. That means get yourself up on the box scores. Watch to the left. He pumps. Now throw it away. There are people coming. He's waiting for Randy to get open. There's got to be a clock in the quarterback's head. As soon as that clock that goes off for you in the red area. The Bears, courtesy of Philip Daniels stripping the ball. Will start it off with Thomas, and he's stopped by the middle linebacker, Greg Beaker. This is what happened. Randy Moss is here. That's Jerry Azuma. That's Mike Brown. Moss is going to try and run down inside. You're going to see Culpepper. What he's going to do is he's going to stare down Randy, and then what's going to happen is Philip Daniels is going to come and take him out. Set, set, get rid of the ball. Get, ah, you can't double clutch down around the goal line. Because what you're doing is you're asking your offensive line to block quickly, which means you have to get rid of the ball quickly and forever. Out of the eye, second and six. Stewart, the quick out, completes it to Booker, and Booker up to the 32. He has the first down, the first completion of the night for Cordell Stewart, the first catch for Marty Booker. Marty Booker, Dick Duran said to us when we sat down and asked him about Marty Booker, he said, this guy is really a good player. He's a great player. And here's a guy they got to get the ball to if they want to move it by air. And Marty Booker has got just great hands, great moves, and he knows how to get open. 97 catches last year, 100 catches the year before breaking the lead. The projected date of return on him around the first week of November. And this is Mo Williams' second tour of duty. Culpepper from behind, lost it again, got it back, and now it's buried back at the 19-yard line. Alex Brown came from behind, knocked it away, and it was nearly another turnover. 
Now, this is Alex Brown, but what has happened is Culpepper, you know, you can get too confident with your offensive line, and that's exactly what he's doing. Look at Culpepper just standing there holding the ball, and look what Brown does. Not only does he knock the ball down, but he hangs on to Culpepper until Erlacher can get there. Even if you have a big offensive line, you still have to have a rhythm passing game, and that means when the back foot hits, the ball's got to come out. It's a year ago, he kept people off of Erlacher, and he set a club record for tackles. Cole Pepper pump fake trying to set up the screen and a great job by Alex Brown. He sniffed it out, got right on the receiver, and would not let him go. And a great job by Dante Culpepper. Yes, it was. Now, you might say, Joe, you're nuts. He threw it away. This is something he's been working on. He gives his team a chance to play. McKinney tries to cut him. Alex Brown doesn't buy into it. Anytime a defensive tackle that big lays down in front of you, you got to figure something's going on. And Alex Brown sniffed it out, as you said. Stewart out in the flat. Stanley Pritchett, the fullback, forced out of bounds by Beaker with two seconds on the first quarter clock. This week. Guy's a great player. Here's Mo Williams. And he has stood up as he got to the 25. Warwick Holdman led the charge. Remember that great linebacking core they had a year ago. Roosevelt Colvin left in free agency. So you got Brian Knight in there now with Holdman and Erlacher. And Ted Washington has, has wound up in New England, who was right. another big body. So when you had Keith Trailer at 340 at one tackle, Ted Washington at three, <laughs> a lot of numbers at the other tackle, Brian Erlacher could roam sideline to sideline. Now and you see Keith Trailer, he's not 340. Please. 41, 341. <laughs> Second and 10. Moss is in the slot, and he'll get the quick screen. And a perfect tackle by Mike Green. The strong safety came over. Boy, I'll tell you what. Is this a... I mean, you talk about textbook play by a defensive back. It can't be played any better than this. He just knew the ball was coming to Randy Moss. He made the play. He was there. Mike Green, number 43. Watch this. Catch. Gets himself in a, in a football position. See, backs know how to play the football Absolutely. Position. Square and yourself up and make the tackle. So far, and Randy Moss held him to two catches for seven yards. Ahmad Merritt had a nice return the last time. Has another one. Across the 40 to the 43. 35-yard kickoff return for Ahmad Merritt. <laughs> the coaches didn't like me when I was an assistant, so I'm going back to being me. <laughs> Culpepper on the option. There's Brian Erlocker. Has a chance to be able to come down the line. He's going to let the guys up front take the quarterback. Now he delivers the blow. This is the speed of the middle linebacker. All right, the ball's pitched. He's outside. Mo Williams trying to get outside. I'm sorry, Mo. Not this time. I'm here to deliver the blow. But a train had a nice run. They haven't run since, really. Des White makes his first catch and will have a first down as he crosses the 50-yard line. It's the team picture of the defense. Now Cordell takes off. This is where he's the best, inside the 20, inside the 15. Take your time. <laughs> now get yourself up. All right, that's it. Move them along. At it. Take your time in a hurry. Get up and ground the ball. There that was go. the first time he's had any room to run tonight. Boy, it's, See, this is it. That is best. This is what. I, this is where I think Cordell can be a threat. If you call designed running plays, you put him in as a running back, and then everybody has to block up front. If you let him run with the football, when everybody's spread out in a passing formation, he has fewer people to avoid and can use his athletic ability. We saw him with Pittsburgh. He was their best receiver at one time. He could have been he, their best runner. Could have been their best runner. runner. He was their best player when he played slash. Bears trying to get back in this game in the two-minute drill with no timeout. Stewart for the end zone. Touchdown. David Terrell, as the defender was turned around, he makes the catch. Ken yeah. Irvin. Well, I'll tell you what, they're not calling pass interference tonight. Well, they don't call it offensively. You know that. <laughs> I'll tell you what. This is David Terrell 
and watch where this ball is thrown. He has to come back to it. Cordell throws it to his outside where the defender has no chance. Those guys were tied up. Now, they could have called something, but they didn't, and that's neat. I'll tell you what. You have to hand it to the Chicago Bears. They have been kicked all over this field through two quarters of play. They come back in the two-minute drill with no timeouts, go 60 yards, and get a touchdown. And that was Denard Walker, not Ken Urban. Walker and Urban were the two corners the Vikings added to shore up a pass defense that was a problem a year ago. And the big play is when Cordell took off and scooted out of the pocket and ran. Well, it, <laughs> you, got, you got guys holding jerseys, and they're not calling anything. And David Terrell, I mean, it's just, it's a good throw and a great catch. They allow the wide receivers to utilize their hands. And look at that. He did, Oh, he tried so hard to get it to balance. He figured, listen, if you're not going to spike it, Marty Booker says, I will. Dale Stewart, looking like the Cordell Stewart that we've come to know in Pittsburgh. Good decision, dropping the ball off down to Abdullah. Then, he, then here he goes. This is Cordell Stewart. Put a move on a linebacker. Greg Beaker can't stay with him. Then he makes a play. Now, throw the ball to the back right shoulder. David Terrell with the exceptional play for the touchdown. That was a great drive under a lot of pressure. I mean, they're just, they're, they're looking, Azuma's there, but they are allowing, you know, Randy Moss to come off. Azuma's, you're not going to beat me deep. If you're going to beat me short, but watch his play. Boom, he cut his legs out. A nice play. He even falls down athletically. He looks pretty going. Look at that. You know, doesn't really bounce like a lot of guys. Puts the hand down, breaks the fall. Well, you know, when I when you just watch Randy. Anthony Thomas very early and then totally went away from it. I think they get back to it right here. Thomas off tackle. You know, this guy seems to be one of those people that's really unappreciated. He was the NFL Rookie of the Year when he rushed for 1,138 yards in 2001. In 2002, he misses the last four games of the year, still gains over 700 yards, but he has not received a lot of backing from the coaching staff or the front office. Third and six. Blitz coming. They pick it up, and now Erlacher got him from behind. Oh, great call by Greg Blosh, the defensive coordinator, and what a terrific job by the secondary. Erlacher wants to come in and put pressure. Okay, that's Erlacher against the rookie. Remember the job that Mo Williams did on him? Ah, uh -uh, the rookie doesn't do quite the job. There comes Erlacher in from the side. Oh, I was there. Yeah. Thank you. I forgot. And I punted. Yeah, once for a yard. Oh, no, in the Canadian football league, too. That went two yards. <laughs> Cordell to throw out in the flat. Pritchett pushed out of bounds. Chris Hovan wired on Sunday night. Let's listen in. Hovan gets most of his attention for his motor, his intensity, and of course the fact that he's crazy. But this guy wants the edge on every play. He knows the more knowledge he has, the easier he gets. He takes film home, breaks it down two hours every night before he goes to bed. He says going into the prime of his career, he takes nothing for granted. He's careful about the food he eats, how he works out, you name it. The penalty balls at the 36. Nice fake by Cordell and airs it out. Des White caught it. What a throw. What a throw. Boy, did he unload that one. He was 49 yards, Joe. Paul, you said it. What they did is they max protected. You were right. Up until that point, they hadn't thrown. Terrific fake by Cordell Stewart. Watch the fake. Nice job. Hiding the ball. Selling the fake completely. Now watch this. Lock, load, and fire. That's a javelin throw. But look where the ball lands. Right over the top. What a terrific job of joined this football team a year ago. He made them better. They've done a great job in two years of upgrading the defense. Edinger, perfect. Ooh. He's hit from 42 and 43 tonight, and the Chicago Bears have scratched and clawed their way back to within four. A Brown, Green, McQuarters. Tillman, that whole secondary is done an outstanding job. And the significance of going out of bounds, you can't be the first guy to come back and touch it. Oh. R.W. McCorders at the 26. Great move to get free. 
McCorders makes the first man miss. Brian Russell makes the tackle. It's an 11-yard return. We have a ball game. The Bears down by four. They take over at their 37. The A train trying to get on track and turns the corner. Nice block by Stanley Pritchett, number 36. Boy, he did a good job blocking. Cordell has stepped up his game. Right at the end of the half, he started to eat hot. And he really started it by running with the football. Terrific move on Beaker. Just leaves him in the dust. Now throws it to the back shoulder of David Terrell. Gets a touchdown and then unloads one to Des White, which really has this Bear defense fired up as well as the offense. Vikings come with a blitz. Cordell unloads, and that's his tight end. Desmond Clark, who had a couple of good years in Denver. Well, against that guy, because he's going to tackle. And Cordell says, fine. Thank you very much. Blitz coming. Cordell unloads in a hurry. Clark makes another catch. <laughs> First and goal. Williams again, and he is killed in the backfield by Keith Trailer. Holy cow. <laughs> now, I'm going to tell you what. There's no way ever, 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 ever <laughs> that Mo Williams runs over Keith Trailer, who is not even blocked here. Watch number 94. Bam. Oh. <laughs> Mo says, at least put a helmet or something on this guy. Look at Keith Trailer. He's got him eyeball to eyeball and just knocks him back. Crosses in the slot to the right. And Culpepper's changing the play. Maybe now. Wanted the quarterback draw, I think. Now he has to take off, and Erlacher had him behind the 10. I'll bet you, without even seeing what happened, he took his eye off the ball because what he was doing was trying to figure out where he was going to run. 